Thanks for tuning in this morning to join us uh, to discuss or to know more about how or uh, the power of creating a lawyer community. So here we actually are we are talking about the mental loyalty uh, programs, right? Um, may I know that in your mind now, maybe do you have any like membership that you remember that you, that you have? Like maybe do you have like uh, a Starbucks membership or you have like uh, even the cinema, they also have a membership program, right? So, so today topic we're going to talk about uh, how co uh, how the loyalty program or loyalty community can help in our business and what do we do to make this uh, program systematic, right? So we're going to discuss many three things. Lah. So the first one is why our business needs a loyalty program and how this loyalty program can build in our business. And the last one, what tools should we choose to build an effective member loyalty system. So you're also free to uh, ask me any questions if you have any coming to the mind uh, during the, the, the sharing section. Okay. So first of all, we need to know why do we need to create a customer loyalty? Because okay, let's say you now type in the Google Map type convenience store. Then come out in the map, uh, so many red dot, red dot, even like in one street, uh, just obviously our office, one street. There's so many convenience stores in one same street. So if I am the customer, I just want to buy a view, then how do we choose? How do I choose? Which door will I go inside to get the thing that I have? That I know that actually every store also have similar pricing. right? So this is how, uh, why we need to have member of this system to create a differentiated position of your uh, different with, with your competitors. Okay. So like I say, what is customer loyalty? Customer loyalty is something to uh, make customers committed to buy the merchandise or services from you. So there are several ways to build a loyalty lab. The first one is uh, we can develop a strong brand image. Let's say like KFC, when you think of KFC, you think of the the, the Kentucky, Mr. Kentucky, right? And you think of McDonald's, you think of that uh, well known McDonald's and other things that associate with your brand, you can develop it. And then uh, develop a unique position, positioning strategy. Let's say, uh, actually we know that we, if we want, we, we can buy the same thing at uh, 99 Speed Mart or the 7-Eleven. But 99 Speed, Speed Mart is, can get you uh, every, every day's things but the store is not that uh, comfortable, but 7-Eleven is more comfortable. So if you want to get some uh, ice love, you want to be more comfy, then you go inside 7-Eleven. And you, so, uh, you also can buy other things there. And uh, you also can create an attachment throughout the loyalty program. What is an attachment? You can, you can have something to associate with your brand or with your program. So when the people, Think of your the program and think of your your shop. Okay, so we have to know in the if you want to build the loyalty program, what is your objective? So maybe you want to retain regular customer. You want the customer who already buy from you keep coming back, right? Or you want you are or maybe you feel like you can't just have this one shop. You need to expand your business you need to have more shop at different location. Then you need to increase your customer, increase new customer, right? Or you know that you want to give something uh, more extra value for your customer. So your customer buying that things is not uh, for one time use only. They will come back and remember what, what have benefited them. So this uh, Lord Dipper gradually give them this uh, feeling of can raise their lifetime value. And uh, of course, the loyalty program also can help you do a better marketing, better targeting. And then uh, uh, with the member you have, actually, we, we is it you want to acquire the data? Nowadays, we know that data is very important. So with the data, you can do a lot of things. You can change the data to money, right? 
and keep your customer happy. Of course, you want them to become your regular customer and give you more sales. You want them to uh, keep coming back for you. So you want to create this uh, loyal, loyalty program to make them happy with your brand. So we're going to talk about how can we build that? How can loyalty program build in our business? First of all, we know that actually some strategies we can apply. And uh, like uh, I group into three now. Uh, so first of all is how do you strategize your loyalty program? And then we cannot forget marketing automation. Marketing is very important in uh, is helping hand in hand with the loyalty program. And also make everyone involved in the program, then you need the staff to be involved, to be engaged in this program as well. Well, uh, talk about loyalty program. So loyalty program is actually a strategic move la, to increase sales and make your brand difference with competitors by engaging your own group of loyal community. So we know that very common in the market, what type of rewards that usually they, uh, the, the shop will give. Let's say voucher or points or give the member have cash rebate or give them birthday special, let's say like uh, birthday, they can have a special gift, they can have extra points earned, they can have a extra 10 ringgit voucher to spend or exclusive member merchandise, member only goods to have and uh, other things. Uh. Well, with all these rewards is quite common at every bloody program. So how can we make our, ourselves uh, more special and develop our base of customer better? We also can have a, uh, uh, distribute a, a better strategy like member get member program. This is how, can, how we can expand our customer base. So what is this member get member program talking about? So let's say in one family, they spend 500 in your store, maybe one month, maybe one year, or maybe six months, okay? In this 500 ringgit they spend, they get the product they need. And we can also uh, create loyalty reward for them. Let's say uh, every 500 they spend, they can have a rebate of five ringgit which is 1% of it. So, and then he, then he got this five ringgit as a reward for him, right? Then uh, when he introduced a, a more member to join this, uh, this shop, then the one of the, even one of the member of the family spent another 500, he actually can get a referral rewards. Let's say we can set the referral reward 0.5% of their spending. Let's say they spend 500. So the referral reward is 250. So what can he get here? So he introduces people, one people get uh, 2.5 if they people spend 500. Lah. So he introduced 10 people. He will earn 25 ringgit from that on top of whatever he spent himself. So uh, this is only one layer. Lah. We, this, uh, Member get member make the database bigger is only for one layer because uh is the rules of uh, bank negara. If you have more multiple layer, then it become MLM already. But we didn't do that. We just do member get member. So whatever spent by your downline, you can earn from it. But whatever spent by your downline downlines, you can't you can't earn from it. Only your downline one level can earn for it. Okay. So just now we stop at this uh, member get member program here. We say that in one family, uh, in, if you spend 500 in one month, you get 1% of the reward, then you get 5 million. So after that, you introduce to 10 more people in that month, and then 10 of them also, also spend another 500 ringgit. Then uh, you can get maybe a 0.5% of the referral uh, reward, then you can get a 25 all together is 30. So 30 in one month in let's say uh, so in one year you can maybe you can earn how much? 360 yearly. So like this type of program can make the member uh, earn more. They feel like oh they they earn more by joining you. They can get the rewards they can get the cash or or something to reward. If they join other usually they can only get points on the voucher 
where the voucher will expire or they don't know where they put them, they cannot spend it. And then we these 360 uh, ringgit they, they have, they earn, what can they spend for? They maybe can spend to exchange some gift of their own choice. We have, we, a lot of people, after businesses, maybe they have fixed one. They say oh, only this range of things can only be uh, changed with your reward of your money. So you restricted their choice. They also feel like, oh, yeah, this company earn it, earn it already. Uh, actually, they didn't really let the member uh, earn any. So we can let them to exchange it for their own choice. <laughs> uh, we no need to create catalog. So that is just now we talk about what is the uh, loyalty program that strategy that we can have. And then after that, we also need to have marketing strategy. Uh, we, call it, we call this marketing strategy not only marketing strategy, we call it more specifically is marketing automation, which make the marketing or advertising uh, strategy come uh, in the systematic way, in a flow. So we also call this uh, terms that we call this drip campaign. Imagine that like you drink coffee, you just uh, use the hot water, pour, pour into the uh, coffee powder, and then make the hot water in the powder drip the coffee drip by drip. So this is actually a direct marketing method like, to acquire customer and re-engage with them. Cool. Okay, so we actually have one flow. This is marketing automation flow. Before that, before you know this flow, you actually need to have a clear goal and purpose that why you need to make this marketing or this strategy or this uh, prioritizing. So you need to plan ahead. You really need to sit down and plan ahead. So in this flow, actually, we have five components, which is database, profiling, marketing, engage, and analysis. Okay, let, uh, let's go inside and see what is, what is that about. So let's say in database, we want to get the visitor. You don't know anything one else, but you want to get visitors. How can we do? For some example, we can also, we can like launch and give some free product. We can give some free gift. We can uh, give free voucher. We can give uh, some rebate. How can you reach people like this, right? Or uh, usually people maybe they at the first uh, opening maybe they do banner, they do banner at the shop, or they uh, make the announcement at the social media. Of course, I have to promote the social media page, then they have to spend some budget on it. Next, um, to make our database larger, after you get the visitor, visitor just people walk past and they go inside the shop, right? And then how do we convert, make the visitor become member? We want to get member. So we can give them some free trial, let's say. We can uh, let them to have free points to join if they join us now give them some free, free points, uh, give them some free gift if they join now, like some towel, usually they give towel la, or some uh, some bowl, la, some merchandise. And then uh, maybe welcome bonus more, like, uh, more bonus, like one stack of voucher to spend in the shop for what brand or brand like that. Okay, so how to convert, after you get, get the visitor to, and then you get the member, how do we convert this database to customer? <coughs> We can always again okay, give them like uh, first time voucher or first time discount, five percent, twenty percent extra discount for, uh, for your first purchase. Usually like that, like. Okay, and then uh, first free, uh, first first delivery. Like uh, you buy now, you get the free delivery. Normally, maybe only you spend one hundred and above, only can get free delivery. And maybe you give you can give them some gimmick like uh, uh, first purchase free delivery, no minimum amount, right? Then how to make them, after they become your, your member, then you want to uh, make them feel more premium, how to convert them to VVIP member, right? We can also like give them exclusive benefits, like, like uh, normal member get two points per purchase. Then we, I, we VVIP can get five points per purchase or eight points per purchase. And then they also, you also can maybe have some uh, tier membership for them. Tier membership, welcome member only have a very simple birthday gift and then premium have a very uh, a premium one the premium uh, member uh, the birthday voucher birthday gift and after you get this prof uh, 
database. Because of database, we cannot just, you so hard to gain the database, you, you just you don't just put it aside. Like we need to do something for it. We do profiling. What does that mean? From the database, we can uh we can know the gender, ma. we can know uh in your group of members how many girls, how many boys. Then because when you know this demographic, you can design some programs, some campaign for them accordingly. Like. Okay, we can also from the member, we know uh, what is the occupation. Maybe there are more working adult, maybe there are more students. So for students, you can give extra campaign for them, like happy hour, or, or let them show your student card, get free meal or free drinks. Uh, maybe you can also know their age. And after you get that demographic program or profile, you also uh, have some activities and behavior based on their profile. Right. Maybe you know that all oh, these group of people they like sneakers. They don't. They based on their profile, the change maybe. Then you maybe you can design something with the program they like, or they or you they didn't buy from you for quite some times. So then you can maybe give them some reminder to reactivate them to come back to your store. Okay. So marketing there's a lot lah. So this only there's only few things that I. Uh, pick out to talk about so marketing we talk about uh, promoting a product so we can use the member loyalty program to or we can use your your loyal community we promote our product our new launch promote the team of the product can promote the, what what should they have like give them recommendation when they come to your shop and then uh yeah and then uh, also we can shout out some offer or promotion for them, like uh, how many percent of sales. We can also uh, we can also promote buy one free one help campaign. Make them come to your shop. We can have a uh, weekend promo also come again. Make them come to your shop. Always remember you. And of course, cannot cannot forget about engage engage with them. We want to have loyal community. We don't want them come and go, come and go. You want them always to remember you, so we need to have bonding with them. So we usually we can have a private sales that like for for member only private sales, so they feel like very exclusive. Like normal people cannot come inside. Only the, the member can come inside to, to grab the the products or can get special discount. On you bonding with them, give them some birthday voucher, and uh give the happy birthday message. Make them know that oh you remember them. So sometimes also when I during my birthday month, I also receive a lot of the uh, happy birthday email. And then you remind me again, oh, okay, I have this membership on this shop. And then, uh, of course, sometimes you remind me to go there to pick something, uh, to buy something. Okay. okay, also, of course, engage is not only for one thing. We also can get sales from that. We want to upsell them, like uh, member only sales or what. Uh, buy the second purchase 50% off or get rebates for the second products. All right, and also engaging them to get the survey of services from them. Let them let you know uh, how do they think about your brand, about your services, so you know uh, how to improve yourself. Okay, so just now we talk about uh, loyalty program strategy. We talk about marketing automation strategy. Now we want to uh, make this whole program uh, works better, we need to involve our staff, make the staff uh, have the mental ownership of the business. Lah. All right, so what can we do? Lah? So let's say we, we can apply like a joining fee. Let, uh, let, uh, let's say you apply a 15 ringgit uh, member joining fees. So in this 15 ringgit, you can actually design to have maybe three ringgit uh, commission for a staff. If the staff successfully re uh, recruit one member, so you give them some target. You let them to have oh, I need to I need you all to achieve thirty k members in one month. Let's say. So every so every uh oh sorry thirty k get thirty k from members lah. So in one month they get three ringgit. How many members they have to recruit? <laughs> so they need to recruit. 10k of membership. So let's say in that, that branch have six staff. Lah. So they one 
one member they get three ringgit ma. So ten k of membership they can get thirty k, RM thirty k lah. So let if let's say that Brian have six staff, so they can divide it by themselves. Ah, one staff can get five thousand extra. So of course this is very encouraging lah for the staff. So they will become more happy and feel like more committed to promote the membership to the outsider. So some, of course, some, that's why sometimes ah, uh, we go to some shop. Some member is like very automatically. You ask, "Mama, do you have member? Uh, do you want to join member?" Some is very uh aggressive. Some of them didn't feel anything. If you have member, then you join. You don't don't have member, they also didn't like encourage to join. So this is some strategy the management level can deploy to the staff line. So make them more involved in your loyalty program. So uh. What what do we can what can we get out from the revenue of this ah? So from the business ah, let's say you, first time we say ah, at the at the beginning I say in the lottery program let's say one people spend five hundred in your shop ah. So if you can recruit six thousand of member and six thousand of them spend five hundred in your shop, you can get three million or if in one month ah. But we cannot get all the revenue from three million ah. We have some cost of we let's say we. Slash is half ah. You still can get one point five million. Ah, providing you can have this strong database, ah, strong ah member base lah. All right. So just now we talk about why the business business need ah member loyalty, and then ah how member loyalty in the business, and ah now we need to know that what is the tools that we should choose, what kind of tools that we should choose for ah effective member loyalty system lah. Okay, so before you choose the the tools, ah, you need to ask yourself if the member loyalty solution can integrate it with whole system and e-commerce, right? Because nowadays, uh, a lot of the a lot of the business they not only have the offline store, ma, they also have online store, right? And then um, if the membership is the app based or card based, or the app based or how then how can this membership help you to get repeat business? And how can the member loyalty solution can help you increase the engagement between your customer? So here, I would like to introduce that like, this ah uh, our in-card is our member loyalty program. This is the systemized tool to build ah uh, your own community platform lah. Like. So in-card is not a card based lah. Like. We this is a app app based membership. So what do we do? So just now I keep saying build your database. Build your brand, then we can give rewards, and then we engage with our our customers. After that, this actually these three components is help us to get the sales. So, ah, in the sales, we also have three parts lah. We can get the sales from part one, we from the registration fee, from the premium ah for of the member tier, from ah if they buy the stamp packages or buy the gift cards or buy the voucher plans. So after that, the the sales also can get from the ah campaign. Let's say we have this stamping campaign, ah we can get the ah sales from the amount or the sales from the product of it when we promote the ah campaign campaign in stamp lah. So lastly, we also can get the sales ah by promoting the long term tier upgrade lah for the member level upgrade. Or we always can have member only promotion or member only sales to get the sales. From our uh group of loyalty, okay. So, uh, this is the common modules that is they can be deployed like in in card membership, which is com uh by points or by prepaid or by digital stamp or e voucher. Points and points and voucher is quite common. Usually, uh, most of the business can uh use this like you buy. Ten ringgit get one points, or you also can buy one ringgit get one points. Then when you accumulate accumulate ten, ah, one thousand points equal to ten ringgit. This is something that we can set upon that. So, and then the prepaid, who will usually use prepaid? Prepaid like um, like at once you buy some at once credit in your membership lah. So usually maybe like saloon business or beauty business. Or the the new business, so sometimes they can promote you. Say they will say that, uh, buy package of five hundred 
500 ringgit can let you spend for 600 credits. So this is to get the to advance money from the from the customer lab. by getting the amount the money extra money. Then you give them some extra benefits like extra points to spend. And then digital stamp also. Uh, maybe usually digital stamp can use in the F and B or some car wash uh, industry. Uh, we no need to always bring the physical stamp. We have so many cars and voucher in the wallet. It's very uh, easy to lose the stamps. So digital stamp in the apps, whenever you go to the, the business uh, to spend, you gain it, and then you can also redeem it in the system. Okay. So this is the uh, engagement portal that available in InCards, which is their apps wallet. They can have notification, emails, and newsletter system. They also already built in the SMS system and uh, built in the survey and reward system. Uh, more importantly, is the transaction trigger events and uh, reward, uh, referral invitation, birthday promotion, all is built in, in the portal. So what do it looks like? It's like this. So at the left-hand side, the merchant interface is the merchant all they can get. They get one system in card. So they will have a merchant report portal. They will have a web terminal. They will have apps terminal. So they can uh, the they can browse. They can use the merchant uh, portal at the browser or also in the apps, in the phone. So also, just now I say they have this uh, engagement portal, right? For you to do engagement, for you to do survey, newsletter, or send SMS, or uh, TTE, or of course, when we have apps, we it's more um, easier for us to go to do the push notification. Okay. So what is the um, some extra thing they can use by this in case because they have the external integration. They can integrate to member uh, SSO. They can integrate to post terminal. They can integrate to e-commerce terminal and also the some other merchant portal API. Right, so these are examples are uh, on how is the apps generally looks like. So in this page is, uh, if you join them as a general uh, merchant, you get you get the the view of the apps is like this uh. Yeah, you can have your own uh, portal face. Then you can have uh, this is how it looks like card vouchers, vouchers or stamp. Also, you can have your own private web apps. This is at the browser type, you can put your own branding and uh, white label, which is designed by your preference. Some sample of it, like this. Oh, this is the Tongstar. Tongstar is the uh, hardware shop. And also you can have combined, let's say you can have a web browser version, also can have apps version. And this is generally, there are features, they can have B voucher, uh, e-stamp, voucher card, um, can get, you can get news, instant referral from there. Locator, know uh, which store is uh, nearest to you and what gift that you can, uh, you already in your wallet or you can give to your friend. So, by, and then to sign up the membership, we need to know that uh, we should need to have the, the program that's very easy. Let's say just join by uh, apps, just join by download the apps in the App Store, Google Play, or uh, how if we use it for post system. So now we uh, look at some post in and in card operation synchronization that already built in uh, in our system. Lab. So first of all, that now I say registration need to be very easy. So uh, very commonly, usually people can register uh, in the apps. But if I go to some store, they ask me to fill in my, to write my name, to write my IC. I feel like very tedious. Then it will make me hesitate to join them already. So we already make this in card integrated in our system. Registration is very easy, just via post. And this can be done if they have uh, 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 with their IC. Let's say they have the IC reader. They just plug in and the IC reader is already automatically capture their info. Yeah, 
like this. So this is the info page. Uh, so when you have already plugged in the IC readers, uh, you just put your IC and then actually your invoice is written there. But uh, not to worry because we signed the NDA for that. So the, the data actually of the uh, member, it won't be, it won't be uh, used in not a fair movement. And also a uh, quick search. Sometimes the people will uh, not sure they have membership in this company or not. So we can have a quick search of our inquiry. We uh, either by card number or because they don't know they have the member here or not. So we can search by IC number or mobile number or by name. All right, after that, uh, how is the post transaction looks like when you are doing sales as a member? So first of all, you need to already, you need to key in your, your member ID first. You need to, uh, we need to recognize you as the member in the system first. Then you can see what is the amount, uh, how is the credit that in your member uh, profile. After that, we can just make the normal purchase. So after that, we say, usually like uh, we choose an item and then we make, if we make purchases, there's the report come out, you can see at the, the tool here, you can see how many points at the beginning and then how many points for your purchase. After that, what is the balance of these points, All right? Then how about I want to make redemption with my points? I also can just uh, choose any item. Let's say I choose this 10 ringgit. Yes. Then I, you, I, at the payment screen, we can straight away choose pay by the points, pay by the e points. Then you come up the screen like this, let you know that oh, you have available points now is 2000, which is equal to 20 ringgit. Then these things that I want to purchase is 10 ringgit. Ma. So I uh, the, use the point that can cover 10 ringgit. La. Well, uh, also for the extra layer for the, uh, for the safety, because we don't want the staff to violate right, uh, the points of the member. Then we let the member have this screen, they key in their own password to redeem the point. So after all, after the transaction, we have this report, which is the, how many points they use and what is their balance of the points. Also it's clearly stated in the, uh, the, the receipt. Okay, so, that just now was uh, point redemption. How about stamp redemption? Stamp redemption also, this is also based on your, your setting. Uh, like uh, how do you allow people to uh, exchange the stamp or uh, redeem the stamp? How many purchase equal to how many stamp? And then, uh, when, and then when they can redeem for it. So let's say in this, in the screen itself, uh, already integrated, then we already know that uh, in, inside this member profile, how many stamps that is available for them. So let's say here, I have only one stamp I can change. And then one in that one, one stamp can change, uh, redeem this item, six item of that. So I choose anyone. So you have the screen, the pro I'll say, are you sure that you want to redeem this item? So yes. And also, uh, also the same operation, you need to key in the password for safety reason uh, to confirm. Okay, after all, we also, after the financial cleaning, we also have this report, this receipt to see, you see uh, this, this uh, item, the original price is 2,200 ringgit because it's a uh, uh, gift redemption. So it's 100% off. And then how about to renew the member? Renew member also very easy, can be done in the post. So just that click the button and then you can, you can straight away know that you want to renew one year or three years. And this after that, you can see the history record of the renewal of the member. Okay. The other records, let's say, because our post, one of our specialties is our post can be performed at offline. Let's say if, if your uh, internet not good at, at the outlet, they still can perform the sales, then uh, the data will store here temporarily. When it's an online, then you can upload to the backend. So at the back end, we also also can see this kind of report listing, point listing based on location or based on member ID. All right, so this is how our uh, back end system look like. Because uh, we have this centralized control hub, no matter you have one outlet or you have 10 outlets, it's also very easy to set up at here. 
Okay, so lastly, so I say so many things. Maybe you're very curious on how do we start, where do we start this program? Because this is very customized. So if you have any, if you are interested or you want to know more, actually we are encourage you all to contact us. Lah. So you can contact Simon, you can contact me or, or two of our other colleagues to talk about this program if you love to start with this. Okay. So after all, this one hour, we talk about know your objective when you want to. If you want to uh, create your own community, what is your objective? After that, you need to plan your strategy. What is the lo loyalty strategy that you want it to look like? And then what is your marketing plan? And then do you want to involve your staff? And uh, of course, you need to know what kind of tools to choose for your loyalty program. And last but not least, uh, we, we subscribe a program. We need to make it persistent and consistent to uh, develop this program. It's not like you buy it and then you hope for the next day, a lot of people come to your shop. We need to, uh, we need to uh, make something works for it. We need to plan uh, and we need to execute it uh, consistently. All right, I hope my sharing today is clear. And uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask. Is there anything Simon want to add on? Uh, no. Basically, as you say, uh, run a business. So you need, need why we need to uh, involve the member or the program. Basically, you need to retain customer. Then from there, you can go from member, then you can grow and the sales level. You just need to think about future. After you've done this, next move on is after you've done the membership program, you should move on think about how to do more sales channel, like open the online store, open the e-store, because have member, then you can allow the member easy to cash less you. Lah. So by the way, you need to step by step to move your pieces according to the milestone. Lah. This one, the advice all of you. Lah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and the things that I want to add on is, what's the difference with other program, right? So there's so many loyalty programs uh, outside, but some of their weaknesses, they cannot do uh, integration. This one we already integrated to our system. Is already integrated in the post system and also on our online commerce um, platform. So if your customer, uh, if your merchant uh, join us uh, as our, our merchant, they have a shop, have a shop at let's say in Kushalama. They also have a shop at uh, online. So whenever people go to their online shop to buy, purchase something, they can also uh, gain points. After they gain the points, can they spend in the local, the local uh, offline store? Our answer is yes. They can spend the, the amount, they can spend the, the credit uh, both ways. Either or they buy things from the offline store, also can spend at the online. So, and then the, the report is all captured. Again, I thank for your time to this morning. And if there's no questions, I would like to end the session here today. And remember to join us again for the next topic, probably in next month. Bye. Yeah, thank you very much. Huh? Thanks, everyone.